when uh, Peter informed me of uh, this uh, this honor, uh, first thought that came to my mind was usually the prizes are named after people who are dead. <laughs> so after that, uh, first one is obviously wrong. Second one, uh, I promised my children that I'll be around here when I'm 100 years old. So uh, uh, the world will have to put up with me for 20 more years. Uh, in any case, I'm very, really honored and pleased to receive this award. Um, Peter, you are right. I did not know uh, how far the applications of CO2 lasers will go, other than the fact that I had one on my back of my hand. But there should have told me something at that time. But I, um, I was, uh, as I said, too dumb to understand where, where, where all the applications were. In any case, uh, from my point of view, coming to this meeting uh, made me realize that there are lots of things happening which I'm totally ignorant of. And for example, I learned the word phrenectomy. And I never heard it before, and it's certainly so. so um, uh, sitting here, listening to all the talks which describe how the lives of babies, young adults, adults are improved by the application of lasers clearly was a uh, sort of satisfaction that uh, there is more to lasers than just uh, using them as weapons of destruction. And uh, uh, all I can say is that I wish uh, all of you great success. I think uh, uh, I've heard lots of talks. S some of them are strictly clinical. Some of them are more analytical. And I think uh, the marriage of finding out what the standard should be and trying to compare the results of surgery with what more or less the standard is really eventually will will provide guidance in terms of how to do things right um, and then this is taking nothing away from those of you who improve people's lives but clearly there is always going to be something better to do and um, before I um, sit down and say my final thank you. Peter, that curve that you had of absorption, one of these days you're going to have to put some more lasers on it. And that, and that might make your life more difficult. Um, I think uh, one of the things that, that uh, with one of your help from any one of you, I would like to find out if you had your choice of wavelength, which one would you use? Because CO2 is what it is, but there is nothing in the, in the world which says the first one was the right one. And uh, so I think one of these days, if you can find out what, as I said, if you had your choice, what would you, what wavelength would you want? And uh, uh, then I'll take that, that up on, on myself as my new task to find you a laser that will do what, what you want it to do. Thank you very much.